In October 2001, letters containing anthrax were sent through the U.S. mail to Senator Tom Daschle, NBC, and other media outlets. In the aftermath, there were 19 confirmed cases of anthrax and five persons died. Many more were exposed and underwent treatment. Terrorists can attack with organisms that are odorless, tasteless, silent, perhaps invisible to the naked eye. Biological weapons may be produced in laboratories. Or the agents may be provided from biological weapons stockpiles from countries willing to sponsor terrorist organizations. Easy to conceal, these biological killers in the hands of terrorists can be lethal. The agent might be a freeze-dried powder or a liquid slurry. A likely method of attack is by spraying to generate an aerosol of suspended microscopic droplets. A biological agent might be attached to an explosive device or a container of a dry powder might be broken open to allow the contents to travel on the wind. By the time an attack is detected, terrorists can be far away. Terrorism, biological weapons, is another in a series designed to prepare emergency response and emergency management personnel to respond to weapons of mass destruction incidents. This program will describe possible targets and likely terrorist devices and provide response guidelines for biological terrorism incidents. Covered will be the use of hazmat response protocols, early warning surveillance, site control, protective clothing, incident management, and specialized equipment and supplies. <laughs>